All right, what's up, Sim Racers Alert? TJ or Sim here. And today I got a couple of gifts in the mail here that I ordered for pre order. I already put up a video. I'd ordered four things at one time the shifter, the QR adapter, the wheel hub from Logitech, and then of course the RT wheel for that as well. Uh, these two came in, so let's uh, check one out. All right, so here, oops, one more. So what we got here, we got a QS adapter, pull up paperwork, it looks like here. Nothing else. Got some goodies here. All right. So assortment of nuts and bolts. Things a little hard to open. Hard to open, but anyway. So there we go. Got an Allen head, some nuts and bolts here. Some hardware, basically. See how this looks. Now, QR itself, nicely wrapped. Little G logo all over it. Voila. Look at that, baby. Well, that looks good. I like it. So you got a uh, 50.8 inner pattern here and a 70 millimeter outer pattern here. So this should work for mostly everybody's wheels. And I, I believe it said that you could screw in from the inside to out uh, either one. Now these inner ones are threaded, sure. So you could not screw it from this side out for the 50.8. But for the other one, for the 70 millimeter one, you could go from the bottom up if you wanted to screws directly in and then of course use your nuts on the top but it comes with all the hardware you need here so pretty cool there it's a good looking nice anodized got a decent weight to it this is of course going to work with your Logitech Pro wheel obviously and I was hoping and during my review I said why don't they come out with at least a QR adapter so people with some uh, decent wheels and stuff can uh, adapt to this baby here and you know, use it on the on the pro for the PC use. Now this is only PC use only, obviously, which is pretty much like any QR adapter out there, except that's a Fnatic has the QR adapter where you can use, of course, their branded rims or any rim there and then plug it into the, into the system and then uh, the wheelbase rather and work whereas an, uh, button active buttons and stuff like that, right? That's different because they have a hub with, with buttons on it that's their own button box, and then you slap on whatever rim you want on here. So this is just the basic one here, right? So it's gonna dead source, let the uh, wheelbase know that you actually have a QR attached to it so it can uh, do its business. Uh, the downside to this would be when you put a rim on here, for instance, I just got this rim right here. This is the old uh, AccuForce uh, rim that come here. But for instance, when you put this rim on here, great because now you can use it for drifting and rallying and stuff, but you have no button boxes, right? So if you're using this on a PC, not too big of a deal because you can assign, say maybe you have your own custom button box and you can use for it if you want to, but you virtually have no buttons to use, which kind of sucks, right? Uh, but it is what it is. This is what uh, most regular QRs have uh you're assuming that you have a button box that you can assign buttons for as well there are no buttons on the actual logitech to use uh aka like the turtle beach has a new one that came out with its own little button box here on the side so just keep that in mind you're going to have to source your own button box or use your keyboard or your inputs when you're on pc and then obviously if you're using this say for your playstation or your xbox Series X, you have no buttons to activate it. So you're gonna to have to use your controller to do your menu system around there. I'm curious, and I'll try it out and I'll test it out for you. Uh, but when I uh, was to say, get to the track I want it to with the stock Logitech wheel, if I unclick the stock Logitech wheel and then click this one on, normally it turns off the system and then you lose, lose, your, lose your system for it. And then it should turn back on with this one. I'll try it out and make sure that you still stay in the menu system and stuff uh, with there. But that'll be that'll come here as well. But just just a quick look at this QR adapter. I uh, will do a full review on this and hook up some different rims on here for you to check out. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the flip side. I'm out. All right, let's play around here. So I'm gonna use this uh, Cube Zero Pro or Cube Pro. Cube, Cube Zero is what it's called. And uh, I love this wheel. It's one of my favorite ones, actually. And I'm gonna use this on the Logitech with their QR system. So, what you wanna do is identify where the key is. So this is the key. This is always pointing up, right? Now, the only reason I say that is, is that I wanna utilize this same quick release right here, this one right here, uh, because supposedly this one when you click it on, you have to kind of hold the collar and uh, and then 
push it on, right? Whereas the stock one, you just kind of slide it on, it snaps in place, right? That's what I've noticed on on one of the, uh, on Boosted Media, they talked about that. So, so I, and plus I want to be able to use this on my Sim Magic if I want to, and I don't want the hassle of switching it back and forth by taking this BG off, right? Could go direct with the mounting bracket here from Cube, but like I said, this is what I'm gonna do. So with this one being the NRG style, has a little dot here, and that's gonna be your up, so that way when you center your wheel, it's centered at the top. So I wanna line it up with the keys here, which is this top, has an even notch right here for us, which we know it's this top hole. Rock and roll, baby. There we go. Get this nut on there. Are these, uh, they're not Teflon nuts. But, oh, look at this. This is a nice surprise, look at that. So, it is indented. This will be better. See how it uh, fits the the, uh, bit of the nut just perfectly? That is awesome, guys. So, even though it's not threaded here, it holds the nut in perfectly. Nice. That was a pain in the machine. Very appreciative. We can get it in here now. All right. And it just kind of, no, it didn't stay in there. <laughs> it kind of stays in there, but it doesn't. Where the hell did my hole go? Here it is. Make sure I'm at center. All right. Position in that little spot. This little, it's hard unless you got itty bitty fingers. It's hard for Texas hands. There we go. All right, that is with the arrow centered up. This one, of course, is there centered up. Put my screw in. Come on now, work with me. I swear I've used tools before. All right, there we go. Is there a cheap one here if we want it to? Which uh, seems to clear just fine. That's good, easy peasy. And that's how it works, fellas. One, they give us three, four, four of them, five of them. Okay, good, they give us five and five nuts. Times on these, well, let's just do one at a time here, but that'll probably fall out. Uh, a lot of times on these, you'll find that they'll, the manufacturer will only require like three wheels to hold, or three nuts to hold the wheel on, right? But, so this is nice to see that they actually give you nets for every one, be able to hold it on there securely. Come on now. This is somewhat of a pain to get in there. There we go. Put your finger back there. And they already come pre-thread locked, which is nice, very nice, very, very nice. Put one down here, and less for me. Get in your hole, go home where you belong. Last but not least, I gotta say this anodization on here is very pretty. I'm a sucker for anodization, let me tell you. Alrighty, round and round it goes. Where it stops, no one knows. Cross pattern, not that it really matters for this stuff. It is, nope. it's just long enough. That's awesome. Should got out my regular wrenches. You don't really need to torque these down too much. Just snug as a bug in a rug, you know what I'm saying? This one, I'll probably fast forward it for this part of it. All right, there you go. Beautiful. Got my quick release. Boom, do you like that? QR system for Logitech wheel. You can use my uh, GT Pro, or my Q Pro rather, on it. Obviously this plugs into the wheel. Nice. Good job, guys.